Hi everybody, Jody Ann Johnson here with the 56th episode of Coffee with Jody. And today in the month of December we're going to talk a little bit about celebration and a little bit about giving. And I'm going to share a quick paragraph of you from Charles Dickens, A Tale of Two Cities. Stay tuned. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief, it was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light, it was the season of darkness. It was the spring of hope, it was the winter of despair. We had everything before us and we had nothing before us. We were all gonna go direct to heaven or we were all gonna go direct in the other way. In short, the period was so far like the present period that some of its noisiest authorities insisted on its being received for good or for evil in the superlative degree of comparison only. Charles Dickens, the opening paragraph from A Tale of Two Cities. And I was thinking about this as I was preparing for this particular episode of Coffee with Jody, because we have seen some of the best in people and some of the worst in people. And I always think of when people are behaving badly that they're afraid on some level and that's what kind of allows them to behave that way. But I've also seen enormous generosity of spirit. The generosity of spirit that's gonna be required to ensure that the 20 million or so people here in the United States that are at risk for being evicted, uh, going without food, and have amassed, according to, to the um, studies, over 5,000 in back rent and electricity utility payments. And so, for me, in this theme of celebration and giving, I was looking back and thinking to myself, we have here in my family and in our firm a lot to celebrate. We're able to pay our bills. Yes, we were people who also received you know, the PPP money and the IDL loan to be able to keep things going you know, because we lost clients as well. We're grateful for the clients that stuck with us. We're grateful that no one we know actually died from this um, terrible disease. And in that, I'm thinking of those who have been given much, much will be asked. Our food banks and our faith-based organizations that help with rent and with utility bills are being stretched beyond uh, their ability to serve this population. So. What can we do as business owners and leaders in the community? One, we can think local and support our local businesses here who keep people employed and then that trickles on down to the families. We can look at how much can we set aside dollar-wise to contribute to a place like St. Vincent de Paul and the Catholic Church or any of the other faith-based organizations that do this kind of support work to Feeding America and all of their local chapters. Maslow's hierarchy of needs start with the basics of food, water, and shelter. And a great number of us are at risk for that right now. So I ask you, how can you give as an expression of your ability to celebrate what's going well in your world to somebody who's less fortunate. Please share that. And then if this video makes a difference for you, share it, like it, and subscribe. Coffee with Jody. Thanks for being with us. Bye for now.